What is going on guys? Welcome to my Q&A that I didn't mention in last week's episode of Zero to Hero. So yeah, instead of Zero to Hero this week I will be uploading uh, the Q&A. So I got a few questions in the comments of that video and in the Steam discussion. So I'm going to go ahead and answer them now. In the background is just some um, Derman gameplay um, and there's also some Spy gameplay using the Sapper only mainly. And also the um, WM1 Pyro with the Flog. Um, so just ignore the background, it's all about the questions, so let's get into it. Um, so the first questions come from Mr. Mini Death. he gave me quite a few. Um, how old am I and do I have a girlfriend? So the second one, do I have a girlfriend? I tried searching it on backpack.tf and nothing came up, so I'm I'm not even sure that's an actual item. Maybe it was a spelling error, but no, like nothing came up as you can see there. So I'm not entirely sure. Um, I just... Then I went to my backpack and searched in the search thing um, for the girlfriend item, but nothing came up, so no, sorry, I don't actually have a girlfriend. Uh, if any of you want to send me a trade offer for one, you know, go ahead. That'd be pretty cool. Also, for how old I am, I'm 16 years old. Um, do I have any pets here? Yeah, I have two cats, which are yeah, pretty cool. Um, one's black and white, one's grey. So, yeah, uh, next question. Um, the easiest way to make profit trading. Pretty much just like I've made a trading tips tu tutorial and it's just buying cheap hats and misks for lower than discounted price and then selling them on for full price. Um, and also same with unusuals, buy them for a few keys off and then um, sell them for more. So Bob the Builder asked me what my real name is. Um, my real name is Michael. It's on my Steam profile so you can see there. But yeah, um, have you noticed me Senpai? I notice you doggy. If that's what you want me to do. I notice you. Um, Boomer Zito Jr., when did you start playing TF2? I started playing TF2 early 2012, um, just because a few friends were playing, and yeah, so then I started playing. I pretty got started into trading um, straight away, basically. Um, but yeah, it was early 2012 um, when I got it, and um, I've been pretty much playing f uh, uh, yeah, forever since, so. Um, Fallen Fang, are you planning on doing another training series? I'm guessing you're talking about After Zero to Hero, and pretty much as long as my channel exists, I probably will always be doing these, just because I love trading and uploading them at the same time for you all to see, which is awesome. So, yeah, I definitely will be doing a new one after Zero to Hero. How much is my backpack worth? Um, uh, yeah, so on backpack.tf, my backpack is valued at 27.22 buds, um, However, I do have an unpriced uh, Morning Glory bonnet, as you saw at the start of the video, and I'm pricing that at about four to five buds, so about 31 to 32 buds in total is my backpack. What's my favorite Australian? I haven't had all of them, but I'd have to say the uh, rocket launcher. I haven't actually owned that before, but um, it just looks the coolest, and there's a bonus duck right there. Um, yeah, probably the Australian rocket launcher. I mean, out of the ones I've had, um, I've had the knife, ambassador, grenade launcher, um, what else have I had? Um, I think that's about it. Oh, I've had the black box as well, the scatter gun. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So out of those, probably the scatter gun, because it's, it's just really shiny. I don't know, it looks, it looks a lot different to the normal ones, it's just a lot more shinier, but yeah, probably that. What servers do I play on? I've got this asked a lot of times, and yeah, I'm, I'll say now, for unusual trading, I always go on Universal Traders, they're the best unusual trading server, I mean, the admins there are awesome, they're really friendly, always willing to help you, and funny as well, um, unlike unlike um, TFG Trader where the admins are douchebags and assholes, but um, yeah, if you want, go on either uh, Universal Traders, which are really good, and TFG Traders is a pretty good server as well, if you don't mind the admins, but um, for unusual trading, also I go on Vatican City quite a bit because that's a really good trading server. Um, there's always people on there, and you can get pretty good trades in there. For regular trading, I don't go on any like no. There's no one server I go on. I just type in the server browser in the map trade underscore plaza. I join whichever one um, has the most people, and I get trading there. Um, also, using backpack.tf classified listings and TF2 outposts, I sell my items which is really useful because on um, backrec.tf, if you put yours as the lowest price, it will show yours as the lowest price. Unlike Outpost, we have to search all the pages. So if yours is the lowest price, you'll pretty much sell it um, very soon as opposed to the rest. Um, but yeah, so Universal Traders, um, 
and Vatican City are probably the main unusual servers and trade underscore plaza for any other regular trading. Do I have any specific unusuals you want to finish off with the Zero to Hero series? I've got this asked quite a bit, but I am pleased to announce that I have pretty much finalized my um, what I'm going for now. Um, I'm going to go for a green confetti, exquisite rack, a um, scorching salty dog, or well, that unusual may change, but it's definitely going to be scorching, and a lime painted Antarctic parka, so it's going to be like a green set. Then I'm going to have a professional kill streak, Australian rocket launcher, hopefully. Um, so it's going to be a long series um, uh, with uh, the green sheen and effect. I'm not sure what the. Uh, it's a mean green sheen, but I'm not sure what the effect is. I think it's flames which is green, but I'm not sure, so it's going to be green. Um, probably a, a Strange Conqueror or Collector's Conqueror, and then a Collector's, a Professional Kill Street Collector's Escape Plan with the uh, green sheen and effect too. So it's going to be a, a lime slash green set, which will be pretty sick, I reckon. And yeah, it's going to be awesome to get there, and hopefully we get there soon. So next question um, comes from Slow Turtle. What did inspire you to make YouTube videos? Mainly, um, what inspired me was just because I love trading myself and I thought I could just share with a whole bunch of other people. Um, also, I love to watch trading series myself, so um, the main one was Fun with Smexy. Uh, I watched him a lot and um, it just I enjoyed watching him, so I thought other people might enjoy mine. And yes, yeah, so that's really what inspired me um, to make uh, YouTube videos about trading and TF2 in general. So. Yeah, next question, gun for hire. If you have one unusual effect in real life, what would it be? Why does two sandwiches put together make a scrap? Fair and unusual effect, and how am I so awesome? How am I so awesome? I don't know. Fair and unusual effect at the moment is scorching or morning glory, like you saw in my bonnet. I just love that effect. Why do two sandwiches make a scrap? Because um, Half-Life 3 confirmed, and if I could have one unusual effect in real life... I thought about this a lot. I mean, I would not want mass flies because flies just bug the hell out of me, especially as I live, especially as I live in Australia. Um, uh, I don't want scorching off or burning because I want to actually have my head intact and not crispy little bit of head on top of my neck. I don't know. Um, and really, the only logical one. I don't want sunbeams because, and I don't want a moon because I'll be pretty cold. Sunbeams like like will burn my head off because it's sun. Morning glory, death at dusk, sun, um, frostbite, snow. So really, the only logical one would be a green or purple confetti. And I'm gonna go green confetti, just so I can have like confetti everywhere, everywhere I go. Um, yeah, and like I said, favorite unusual effect is morning glory or scorching. Did you ever trade by um, Rwanda? I guess. Um, yeah, uh, if you're talking about like RuneScape or um, uh, what's the other game? Um, Maple Story, that was it. I did play Maple Story, but not really properly, and I didn't play RuneScape at all. The only trading I did do was with Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh cards and AFL trading cards, but that wasn't really for profit or anything, that was just to get different cards. Next pre next question comes from Presence, and he asks, Who slash uh, what made you decide to get into trading? Uh, why did you decide to share your trading methods with us? What would you do when you get bored or stuck with items? Uh, what do you do? What do you spend more time playing in the game or trading? How do you monitor demand versus availability of items? And what are your plans for the future outside of the game? Um, so what made me get into trading was just really to get items. I mean, like I, like everyone started off, they didn't really have much, and I saw people with all these hats and um, stuff like that. So I really wanted. To get that. Also, unbox the first unusual unbox was a Planet's Trophy Belt, which I got scammed out of. So I really just wanted to get back on my feet from that, um, because I was a noob when I unboxed that. I didn't really know what was going on. Why did I decide to share my out uh, my trading methods? Well, just because I liked watching people trade, like I said before. So I thought other people might like to watch me. Um, what do you get? What do you do when I get bored of uh, trading or stuck with items? I just play normal TF2, as it's like the normal game. Um, do I spend more time playing or trading? I used to spend like 99% trading, like 1% playing, but now it's more of a 50-50. Um, I play quite a bit of normal and then uh, trading on the side. Um, yes, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, how do I monitor demand versus availability? Um, I guess, I'm not really sure what you mean by that question, but 
I guess just by looking on TF2 Outpost and the TF classified listings, I see how many there are, if they're selling or not, and that will make me decide whether to buy it. Same for the community market, tells you how many have sold. And what are my plans for the future? I have no idea, I'm just 16, so... <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, next question, I guess to finish school, but yeah, next question is, Mr. Penguin, will I ever do a face cam? Probably not, I mean, unless I stream on Twitch in the future, I might do one there, but... I don't think that there really needs to be a face game in trading, I, and I'll probably just take up space on the screen where it doesn't need to. Um, Dear the Prophet, how long do you think I'll play TF2 for? What are your plans for 2015? And uh, you love my videos. So, um, how long do I think I'll play TF2 for? As long as, the, as long as it's around, I mean, as long as other people are playing it, I'll still be playing it. Um, it's just a really fun game because of all the different classes and it just never gets boring. Because um, you can just start trading if you're getting bored, or you can start playing if you're bored of trading. What are my plans for 2015? Um, nothing really. Just, I guess, finish Zero to Hero, start some more trading series. Yeah, that's about it. Um, if I could ask one question from Cam to Silva, what music is my intro? Everything is in the description, so you can look down there um, for intro music and background music. What do I use to edit? Um, well, the thing is, I don't really edit. I mean, I put clips together, but all I do with that is Windows Movie Maker just because it's free and it gets the job done. I mean, I don't need anything else. If I do need anything else in the future, I will upgrade, but so far that's all I need. So, yeah, Windows Movie Maker. Um, uh, yeah, next question comes from Danny Dana. Um, probably butchered that name. Gaming setup and do you play Minecraft? If so, in game name and have you ever made mistakes while trading? Uh, gaming setup, I've got this requested a bit, so I probably will do one of them in the future. Do I play Minecraft? I occasionally play Minecraft, but it's mainly just single player by myself. Um, I don't really play... I sometimes go on the Hive, but that's like a few times a year, not, not very often at all. And um, have, you ever, have I ever made mistakes while trading? Yes, I have. I bought a Disco Beatdown. Das has Madden Haddon, which is a Medic Misc. Um, I bought, it was worth 8 buds, I bought for 5 buds pure at the time, I was really excited, I was like, yeah, 3 buds pure profit, I ended up having to sell it for less and in unusuals, so, um, yeah, that was a big mistake, and that's why I never go for 3rd gen anymore, just because of that past experience. Um, but yeah, uh, next question, oh, wait, no, this is just, yeah, this is the start of the new gameplay, I'm mainly just using the sapper. Uh, next questions uh when did I start playing TF2? What is the computer specs? Why is the name the Prophet? And um, are you planning on doing a QA? Yes, what was my setup and I might do a video about it. So yeah, I already answered when I started playing TF2 early 2012 and yeah this gameplay is just some yeah, using the sapper, it's pretty funny this bit. Uh, my computer specs, I have I built my own computer uh, last no, two years ago now. It's twenty fifteen now. Uh, the same day the Xbox Xbox One came out, which is pretty cool. I use my own money because I have a job so yeah um, it's I've main specs uh, I've got a i5 4670k a ASUS 7950 um, for my GPU a 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte hard drive 128 gigabyte SSD why is my name the profit originally it was the profit of profit um, with the first part being profit as in like the god type thing and then Second profit being P R O F I T, like making money. Then I changed it just to shorten it to the profit, meaning both um, like a god and also good at trading and making profit. So that's where that came from, and I thought it was yeah, pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I might do a ga gaming setup in the future because um, I have got it requested a couple of times, so stay tuned for that. So, next question from. Matty Pie JK. Um, when did I start playing TF2? I already answered that. Raccoon Guy 10. What is my dream TF2 item? And the Fat Ferret. Out of the series, what was your favorite unusual, such as the C9 Wax Wayfinder, the Orbing Plants, Jumpers, G Cap, etc.? So far, it would be probably the Madam Dixie, the Vivid Plasma one. Um, but there's definitely a lot of better ones to come. Um, so stay tuned. Um, uh, what is my dream TF2 item? Not really sure. Um, Probably my dream TF2 hat will probably be like a um, uh, a Morning Glory KE. That'd be pretty sick, or a Scorching KE, one of them. Um, yeah, something like that, or a um, uh, Antlers, a uh, Scorching Antlers, or Morning Glory Antlers. But yeah, uh, next questions uh, come from uh, Minecraft for the win, Justin Lin and Kaiten. 
Uh, would you say grids trading as you are regular TF2? How old am I? What is your BP value? And what servers do you usually play on? Or what is your strategy for finding discounted items? Um, I'm a lot better at trading than regular TF2, but I'm not bad at TF2. Um, I've started to play a lot more normal TF2 than trading uh, lately. Just, I don't know why. Um, I'm just enjoying it a lot more now. How old am I? I'm 16 years old. How much is your BP value? It was like about 31 to 32 buds. I mentioned that before. What servers do I usually play on? Universal Traders and uh, and Vatican City. I'll leave their IPs down below as well. Um, they're pretty good. And what's my strategy for finding discounted items? I just say buying uh, hats and misks at a discounted price in bulk. And I get a lot of hats and misks trades at discounted prices. So try that. Um, First unusual you got, first misc and first strange weapon, what servers do you commonly use are ideal for trading and servers you recommend traders trying to get um, good deals. So I mentioned that before but uh, yeah I mentioned that before but um, first unusual I got was the um, Orbiting Planets um, trophy belt for the sniper which I did get scammed off sort of sucks. First misc, I th believe the first misc I found was a No Mercy which is pretty cool. The strange weapon was a strange knife that I unboxed, and the the servers I mentioned that before. I also did unbox a Searing Plasma Big Chief, which I didn't get scammed out of, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, uh, Searing Plasma Big Chief. I'm actually trying to, in the process of trying to get it back, my original one, but it seems pretty hard as I think it's in a private backpack, which sort of sucks. But yeah, I've got unboxed two unusuals, which is pretty lucky of me. What's my favorite hat, favorite class, favorite unusual effect? First unusual, and if I could have had any unusual in real life on your head, what would it be and why? Um, I mentioned that before in the Steam Group one. My first unusual, like I said, was the um, Searing Plasma... Ah, uh, uh, sorry, the Orbiting Planets Trophy Belt. My favorite hat... Um, favorite hat would probably have to be... I've got a few... The Point and Shoot... I, Everyone's favorite hat. I love it as well. It's one of my favorites. The killer exclusive would be one, and um, that's about it, I guess. There's nothing really that I like. I like a lot of hats, but there's nothing really that stands out. Favorite class would be pyro, spy, soldier, or scout. And favorite unusual effect. I mentioned that before. Scorching or morning glory. What other games that I play besides TF2 and CS:GO? And how long have you been trading on TF2? I pretty much started trading like a month after I got TF2, so pretty much since early 2012. Uh, what games do I play outside TF2 and CSGO? I play a lot of FIFA, 40, uh, FIFA 15 on PS4, um, Far, Cry th Far Cry 4, and occasionally some Skyrim here and there. Uh, wh which YouTuber inspired you to trade? Um, what best moment in TF2? Do you like any sports? Why? And do you play anything else in TF2? I do play other games in TF2, like I just mentioned. I like any sports here, yeah, I enjoy AFL, I play that um, a lot, and it's really fun. I enjoy soccer as well, and um, I used to play basketball, but I stopped that. Uh, but yeah, um, best moment of TF2 was getting the Steaming KE just to finish off the series. That was an amazing moment, and my YouTuber then spied me a trade was fun with Smexy. But that's about it, guys. I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed it. It was a pretty requested video for a Q&A, and I thought I'd do it, so I hope you all learned something about me, and if you did, make sure you leave a like, and subscribe if this, is, if this is your first time on my channel. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So, the gameplay in the background is just a bit of M1 Flog Pyro. Well, M1W Flog Pyro, but um, next week I won't be able to upload a Zero to Hero episode because I'm away next week, which sort of sucks, but um, I'll see you in a couple weeks. And yes, yeah, so thanks for watching. Take care, guys, and bye for now. Have a good one.